Alright, sweet. Uh, Alright, what's up, LG family? It is another Tuesday dump. I know it's been a minute since I pushed one of these out. Um, so, what we figured we'd do for this week is we got a doc in town. She just came in. Um, she just did the, the trainer course to become a trainer for TMC. So, I figured while she was here, we'd pick her brain, have a combo, see how things are going. Um, what has it been, like seven months now? Seven or eight months? Eight, because I just started my ninth month in the truck. Dang, she's already starting her ninth <laughs> month in the truck. So, the, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna chit chat with her this, <clears throat> gonna chit chat with her today and just kind of see how things have been going for the past nine months. And uh, yeah, because I know a lot of you have been asking about it. So, we're gonna roll that intro real quick. All right, so real quick, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome, you're officially part of the LG family. That's right, you are one of us. It's always awesome to have new peeps pop in. And uh, for those of you week after week, they keep checking in, yes, finally, look, a Tuesday dump. And we actually have something interesting to talk about. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're all caught up. You don't have to subscribe, no, we're not caught up. You don't have to subscribe to be part of the LG family, but I'd greatly appreciate if you did, because it totally helps out the channel. Thanks. All right, so there we go, now everything. Four mail that's out of the way. Uh, so yeah, you're in Brownsburg this weekend. You just took the trainer course, which means you've hit that mark with TMC where you can become a trainer. And uh, I don't know. God, it's been like forever since we've done a video, obviously. So yeah. I don't know, how have the past nine months been? Uh, the past nine months have been interesting and lucrative. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been everywhere. I've been keeping track of like what states I've delivered and picked up in. Yeah. So I've been to 35 states and Canada. And Canada. <laughs> so, yeah. And you did what, California just a couple of weeks ago, right? Yes, California. I went all the way out there. It was really nice. Um, somehow I got cactuses in my truck. I don't know how <laughs> that happened, but I managed to step on one in my bare foot and I said words. Oh, I imagine. <laughs> Dang. Um. Yeah, so I know I know a lot of the LG family, they reach out, especially a lot of the female viewers, they're just kind of interested to see how things are going and, and uh, what it's like for you out on the road, especially being a female. So I figured, you know, like some of the things uh, obviously you have to deal with that I don't have to deal with it myself as like a, as a male, obviously. Duh. Um, but like, I don't know, what do, since you've been out on your own, how's it been like? as far as, I don't know, I guess those typical fears that a lot of women have or they're not quite sure about? Um, I think I think one of the biggest things that a lot of people even ask me is like, you, you know, what do you have to deal with if there's other guys around? And honestly, it's no different than being in a store. You're gonna get some guys that are gonna say crazy stuff to you. You just stand your ground and just talk shit back if you have to. Um, other than that, You'll get a lot of people who are like, they look at you like you're crazy or they're waiting for your husband or boyfriend or something to come out of the truck yeah. because they're like, oh no, she can't possibly do this by herself. Uh, it doesn't help that I'm this big. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they, they're definitely always like, they assume that you need help before you need it, which my advice, if they're offering, take the help. Even though you can do it by yourself, be like, oh yeah, sure. Go right ahead, I'll stare at you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, but my biggest thing, um, I usually stop at truck stops or rest areas. Um, the first couple months, I made sure that I stopped and I parked underneath any type of lights because if I had to get out of the truck in the middle of the night, I wanted to be able to see what was around me. Um, but now I'm just like, whatever, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not as nervous anymore, I guess is the word. So now I'm just like, I stop where I stop and then whatever, you know, there's somebody around, there's somebody around. Typically no one bothers you um, and then, Yes, this is pretty simple, really. It's no different than being out as a guy and kind of what I'm at now. Uh, bathrooms is a problem yeah. as a as a girl, but you know, you're gonna have to grin and bear it sometimes and find a bush. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what sucks too, because of COVID, COVID is like shut down a lot of bathrooms for us, even to this point. I mean, yeah, especially with the new spike in the the Delta strand, everyone's starting to freak out again, but. 
Yeah, yeah this sucks. I'm going to say about some other things that I do with the bathroom and that guys can't do it. I will pull the girl cart on them because they'd be like, oh, you can't use our bathroom. And I'm like, but what am I supposed to do? I'm a girl. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, uh, well, don't tell anybody, but use the one that we in our <laughs> office. So sometimes you got to pull the, I'm a girl. I can't do anything. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> I know another thing that some people have had questions about, especially uh, after you went solo. And I know we talked after your first few weeks of solo, we talked about that, that incident that you had, which since then, because you have the same fleet manager as me, is I can't. Can't get Scott to shut up about how freaking amazing she is. And not to mention, she usually, she usually, she's, they, they say they don't, but they have their board with all their, their drivers on it. And it does rank you from like the best to the worst, usually based on revenue. And quite frankly, a lot of the times, Doc has just been completely outdoing me. She's always been <laughs> like a couple levels higher than me. So, I mean, which is awesome to see, but, um, God, where was my point? Where was I going with this? <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah. So, so, like, being solo after you had that incident, and we talked about in a previous video, which I'll put a link up in, in this corner for, um, yeah, I haven't heard nothing negative. Like, safety talks nothing but phenomenal about you. Scott, you can't get Scott to shut up. Like, I get a weekly report every week to this day from Scott, like, talking about how, like, awesome you're doing. And uh, so, if, like, for... Besides the whole accident incident, or not accident, it was an incident. Besides that, like, what were some of the things you had to overcome? Because I know you talk about how short you are um, and all that stuff. So, like, I don't know. What were the big, big things that really took you a couple months to really get grasp of or work on? Uh, the biggest thing for me, um, honestly, is because most of the problems I have is because I'm short. Mm. Um, I've had to go to a couple places. We went to the Logan Aluminum yeah. where... The, the forklift guy was really nice. He put the tarp on top of the aluminum for me, which was great. But then once it was up there, I was like, well, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> I can't, I still can't reach it. Yeah. Um, so that's been a lot of things that have my issues with that, it's trying to figure out ways to still do the job, but I have to finagle some things to be able to reach things, to get stuff on top of stuff. Um, make sure my tarp is like pulled tight enough because I can't always reach the next D ring in order mm. to pull it a little tired up tighter. Um, but other than that, just making like, I think it's some of it's like just knowing that I know things. Yeah. So like I'll have the answer, but then I'm like, wait a minute, let me call Josh. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, so I think that was some of it. And it just took a little bit of uh, repetition of doing things. Um, I finally brought a, a little step stool because I'm like, I just can't reach it. I need at least another, you know, six inches of height. So, but that's not going to happen. Yeah. So I, I managed to do that. And I've, I've gotten little tools where I got a little grabby thing so I can pull stuff down from there. But usually it's just trying to reach stuff yeah. that I have a big issue with. So I know... I know that was something that we taught you told me about previously that you were gonna get a, like a set letter to assist you said just wasn't shared. Like was there like a particular brand or anything like that? Or like Well, this is no, I'm telling yeah. you, because if you look in the comments as soon as this video posts, you're gonna see that people are gonna immediately be like, Well, what kind of brand did you get? What kind of gloves do you use? And yeah. like So these <laughs> are like shit. <laughs> Right. Well the um the, the ladder that I got, I got it off of Amazon. It's like 150 bucks. It's, it's red and black. I don't remember the brand, but it's a retractable one. Mm -hmm. So when it's all the way down, it's only about this long, maybe about this thick, and I keep it in the side box. Yeah. And um, when you, when you re pull it all the way out, it's an A-frame, and it can reach up to 8 feet as an A-frame, and if you flatten it all the way out, it goes up to 16 feet. I don't think I'm ever going to need a 16-foot part, but the 8-foot helps out a lot. Yeah. Um, I had to, my uh, I had a tarp pull back one day when I was driving down the road, and having that 8-foot ladder, I was able to climb up there, pull it further up forward, you know, throw a 2-inch throw a strap over it and call it a day. It was like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make it, the, you know, the next two hours that I have to get to where I'm going. So, I mean, that... That was something that, you know, 
I cried a little bit because I don't like to spend money like that. Because yeah. I was like, oh, $150. But it has helped me so much. Okay, first of all, I call bullshit to that statement because she has a brand new <laughs> PS5 and she has a brand new Xbox. And I know this because she had to call me and brag about it. So I know you're I full did, of it. I did, but that was like the first <laughs> like really expensive thing that I had brought in like a year and some change. Mm. So then after spending all of that money, I'm like, I can't spend any more money. And then I went and brought a $150 ladder and I was like, my bank account. <laughs> she did it all in one weekend. She's so full of it. She called me about the one and then all of a sudden she called me later. She's like, you know what? I just went and got the other one. So she's such a liar. I was bored because I was getting I was getting loaded and the, they were being slow and I was window shopping mm. like I always do. And then it was like, notification. You, they have it in stock. And I was like, oh, for real? Let me just... Oh my God, it worked! <laughs> so, so, it wasn't on purpose. It was just an accident that I spent that much money. Oh no, I just gotta give you crap for right. it. Right, so. it's an accident all the time too. Right, but I wouldn't be able to do that without this job. I, I, with my old job, spending that much money, it would yeah. nowhere, like it could not exist. I would have been, wouldn't be able to pay a bill or something. But now yeah. I'm like, oh, this is great. I can spend money if I want to, but I really don't want to. Right. All right, so we ended up having to swap spots real quick. The magic of editing, we're here. Um, yeah, in the middle of our conversation, like just a couple of people came up and just started having their own conversation, like literally right next to us, but no, you know, disregard for anything. So <sighs> be the bigger person, move over here. Um, but yeah, so any hoozles, getting back into our conversation. I'm trying to think. I had like a whole list of shit that I was gonna ask you now, of course I'm gonna fucking brain fart. Shoulda wrote it down. I shoulda, woulda, coulda. So, okay, after after being out there pretty much for nine months now and all this other stuff, um, got any like funny experiences, anything that caught you off guard? Something, especially because you're new to the, you know, still relatively new to trucking, was there anything these uh, first eight, nine months that like, I don't know, was different, unique, funny, uh, and it was very vague. That is, and I would, <laughs> I would have to think about that because like, sometimes there's like funny things that happen, but then my brain is really awful, and then I'll immediately forget it. So like, uh, I think that, sorry, um, I think like the the most recent like crazy thing that I've had to deal with was like I went when I was in California, they had to pull me off of the. Uh, the project that they were doing out there because right mm. now it's a big cluster and they, they gotta get their stuff together before they can put a whole bunch of people back on it. So I had to pick up hay to get back to the East Coast. Yeah. And um, they, where I picked it up, it was like this big machine that put the whole stack on the truck at one go. Yeah. Uh, and then I got brought it back over to the East Coast. I delivered it in um, Kentucky. And when I got to the place where I was delivering it, it was, they had like this really small machine that pulled it off layer by layer. <laughs> and the one of the employees, I guess, was bored. So he climbed up to the very top and just started picking up the bales and just tossing it off of my truck. <laughs> and, and I'm like, do you need help? Because I'm willing to throw it. <laughs> So it was just kind of funny because like there's always a machine that does stuff. It's always a machine. It's always a machine. But it's, yeah. it's kind of hilarious when you see a random person who's like, you know what? Forget it. I'm pushing it off the truck. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably go faster. Oh yeah. yeah. That's uh. I've, yeah, I've had funny stories with hay too. So I, I get what you're saying, especially with the farmers. It's always fun to deal with the farmers. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. And we talked about earlier, we talked about like why you're in town, because you're in town for the training program. So what's, what's your thought on that? Like, I know, like, especially when you first started, you always talked about being a trainer eventually anyway. So I like, are you excited and you're nervous, you know? Um, I'm a little nervous uh, just because, uh, when? yeah. <laughs> it's when you, you, you know what you know, how, what, you know what you're doing because you've been doing it for so I'm a little nervous that I won't be able to 100% explain it to somebody mm. once they get into the truck um, especially you know what there's different people learn different ways and me I'm I'm 
the way I teach people, I'm like, I'm going to explain it to you, then I just want you to do it, and then I'll give you pointers from there. And so I, not a lot of people learn that way, so that's going to be something that's going to be a challenge for me. Um, then, like, I, I talk a lot sometimes, so I'm worried that someone's going to be, <laughs> they're going to be like, she talks too much, I can't do it. So, uh, but other than that, like, I'm really excited because I want other people to be able to do this, especially other females. Yeah. So if, if me being a trainer can help somebody, another female, then that would be really great. But I mean, I'll train a guy too. They're just going to have to listen to the short little me, so. Yeah. Which, you know, macho <laughs> men who are always uh, can't do what a woman tells us, which I think is funny, funny to run into guys like that, especially because, I mean, like I said, from talking to Scott and plus being your trainer, I know you're pretty well squared away. And again, I can't, never, never anything bad. It's always about how amazing Doc's doing. She's just always doing so good, So which, which I mean, it is kind of a proud thing, especially as a trainer. Like, yeah, I take pride in that. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I guess that's pretty pretty much about it. Um, can't really think of anything else to, to talk about. I should have probably made a list of uh, more questions, but yeah, I don't know. it's nice nice to have you in town. Nice to nice to chitty chat and see how things are going and all that good yes, jazz. Definitely. So, um, but as you guys saw and gals, uh, Doc she did she did the trainer course this weekend or literally just yesterday while, while we're recording. but um, So she'll eventually, she's going to be a trainer real soon. Uh, so for any ladies that are, that are interested, you know, now we have, I know, at least of one female trainer that's going to be available. And we know that she went through the LG truck, so we already know she's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, and then obviously, uh, I have no problems with training women as well, too. So you have two amazing trainers right here that are always willing to train, doesn't matter me, male or female. So, uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Love the conversation. Mm -hmm. Thanks for a bunch for doing this. And uh, if I get any questions or comments on this week's video, or on this video, I should say, we'll definitely hit you up for like any follow-up comments or anything that we can, we can put down, so. Awesome. Uh, and then hopefully the wind didn't mess up the audio too bad. Because it's <laughs> more windy on this side of the building than it was on the other one. Of or other course. side, so. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, anything else you want to add before we cut out? Uh, no, I don't think so. No shout outs to mom or anybody? Uh, they will don't watch a lot of YouTube. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> All right, later, everybody. <laughs>